Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry and if you are new, welcome. I haven't posted for a few weeks. Uh, nothing, not for any particular reason, just because uh, life and spending quality time with my little ones, getting ready for Christmas, I'm all wrapped. Well, the children's presents are sorted to come from Santa and wrapped and I've just got a couple left to do I wanted to get nice and organized just these days you never know what's going to happen and it's just something I want to get sorted out and also in case there was an influx of online orders and different things and um, we couldn't get bits and bobs so we're all sorted for that and just to enjoy the moment really with my children and, and my husband and uh, get the house ready I do like to do a big clean before Christmas and got a tree up I've got a couple little bits and bobs in my uh, cozy corner here in my armchair and um, yeah so that's all and I've been uh, just wanted to uh, let you all know <laughs> why and why there's been no videos just life has, has been happening that's all and uh, I am very grateful for everybody who comes and watches these little videos thank you so much we're almost at 2,000 subscribers which is mind-blowing i i thought if anything i would only be reaching maybe a thousand around about now not almost double and it never it's just trying to imagine that many people together it, it it's it's really it's something so thank you so much and hopefully in the next few weeks if we hit 2000 i'm going to hopefully do a, a, a giveaway just to say thank you for for watching my videos and the lovely comments and the messages I get and and if anybody's been inspired by anything that we make as a family for our food um sorry <laughs> itchy face if anyone's um that's that's lovely and and when somebody says I made this and it was delicious and it's it's so nice and it makes my heart so full and that's it sounds corny but that's that's how how it feels and it's it's lovely and it's it's a it's a, cooking is the is something that I really really enjoy it is relaxing it's enjoyable it's a stress reliever it's it's always a sense of achievement when you make something good so it's lovely when you get those messages so yes uh, hopefully it'll be before Christmas and then I'll be able to um arrange some something nice to go to somebody uh, before Christmas so hopefully and today's video is a shopping uh, video I've had done a huge big shop in Asda and Tesco's it, uh, I've ran down my cupboards I've mentioned it a few times in a few previous videos my cupboards and my freezers I've got a freezer out in the garage and I've got a freezer in the house because I've got a tiny kitchen I wish I had a big kitchen but we can't have anything there's always something you wish you had that you don't have but got a really little kitchen but it does have a great big pantry type cupboard in it because it's an older house and uh, I fill it uh, as much as I can and I like to do this every couple of months and then I know we're never going to run out of anything and I if there's if we're ever snowed in or because we live quite rural not very but a little rurally that we've got food in for myself and my husband we're okay but for the little ones for the children and we can just get fresh items so I've done two big shops Asda was about 217 pounds 40 and Tesco's was 158 40 something so it was about 277 pounds just over 377 pounds sorry for both shops but I filled pasta bread uh beans, uh, frozen vegetables, uh, uh, some cleaning products, some drinks, uh, a couple of little bits for Christmas and some matching Christmas pyjamas from Tesco's for us all. The children love them. We've got Mickey Mouse on. And so there was some extras. It's not just food. But uh, yeah, filled the cupboards and um, and then we're just going to shop as locally as we can. We're going to use the butchers, our deli, the market that we have down uh, in Hexham, which is the closest town to us. There's a market and uh, I've got a fruit and veg delivery if I want it. Mostly it's just vegetables, seasonal organic vegetables from a local farm over the other side of the valley. And um, 
helps keep costs down because I'm not browsing all those lovely things in the supermarket and it'll hopefully help us be a little bit healthier. So that's today's big shopping video and then there'll be a, a big meals of the week montage type video from the last few weeks in a few days. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you like it, I really like it if you if you like the video. Um, I don't ask do these calls for action as they're called for subscription to subscribe and to like the videos but it does mean so much to me and um, thank you again for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one we we'll start this is Asda the Asda delivery just came this morning before the Asda delivery came I went down to our little Tesco's well it's a big Tesco's but in our little town and before it was busy there was about two other people in the shop about 7 a.m. this morning and got the things that I couldn't get from Asda and I think I might have duplicated a couple of them by accident but never mind Asda funnily had no cucumbers and no tins of tomatoes so but never mind here we go this is what we've got and we are going to start with our long life milk I've got three whole milks and three semi skimmed yes we have a milkman but we live um at the top of a big hill overlooking a valley and the two roads leading up to where we live are country lanes and if they get icy they're bendy windy country lanes on a big hill there is no way our milkman's going to be able to get to us if we get heavy snow so these had to go in the back of the pantry for snow um or bad weather because we're nearing the middle of november now and you never know what's going to happen and we would just be stuck in the house which is fine we've got have plenty of things in some cherry aid that's going away for christmas i used to drink it as a little girl with my christmas dinner in a wine glass instead of wine or whatever and it's just a tradition now that i always buy a bottle of cherry aid for christmas two robinson's orange for myself and the children to help us drink lots of water so 30 pack of diet coke and a 30 pack of zero and we're not going to get through them all it's just to get them in and some are for christmas and some are for now and some santa napkins because our christmas table this year is snowmen and santa uh dermo sensitive bath bubble bath and dermo for kids the sanex ones some toothpaste some liquid uh multivitamins for the children my four-year-old is refusing to take his uh, chewy vitamins and these were on two for three they were four pounds each so it was eight pounds for three so let's see if we can get him to take some of those and paracetamol ibuprofen my dry shampoo this is broken so i've requested a refund which has already come through the where the, the pump is sometimes you can put them back on they still work but the actual tube is snapped so i mean then that's four pounds so i would i'm just gonna have to throw it in the bin i think but never mind as the shades uh kitchen towels these are a substitute instead of a multi-pack of plenty uh i'll prefer plenty i don't really like these ones but it'll do i do like to do a big clean throughout the house like a big um pre-Christmas clean so I use I'll be using a few of those two lots of toilet rolls this is our preferred toilet roll and they're on special offer so I got two while they were cheaper some fabric softener some comfort because we're running out a uh, four pack of does for soap some Dr Beckman glow white this is brilliant if you have white bedding or towels that gets marked or stained or just keeps it white it's really really good some foil trays two packs I'm making lots of freezer dinners so every time I make a pasta meal or a lentil meal I'm doing a bit extra and popping it in a tray or two and putting the what it is on top and putting it in the freezer trying to build up some freezer meals in case we get snowed in and we can't get out. A couple of years ago my in-laws got snowed in for a week and they couldn't leave their house because we're out in the country. Don't think it'll be quite as bad here but we might end up with a few days in. Some marigolds and uh, so I can wash dishes because I have hand eczema and I thought I'd try the sensitive skin ones. I've never tried them before. Two packets of uh, antibacterial wipes as you do at the moment. Um, I did order the wet ones brand but they didn't have them so these are a sub. Some dishcloths. 
carry on with my cleaning and some Dettol surface cleanser. Some more Plenty because they were, the Plenties were on special offer, that's why I picked the Plenty, but the, obviously the four pack of the regular size ones were out of stock. Two uh, lots of Fairy, they were reduced as well. The um, washing detergent, I uh, used to use Ariel my whole entire life. Even my mum used it, I used it, we just always used Ariel because we've got sensitive skin. Um, but I thought I would give this one a try. I just bought a small one and it was really good. And it was not the non-bio, that's why I wanted to try it, obviously. Um, but that was excellent, really, really good. I like it, so I bought two more. And fresh food, here we go. So, some Maris Piper potatoes. I'm going to do some roast potatoes on Sunday. And some of my favourite Maribel potatoes from Asda uh, for mash. And some baking potatoes of the same type. They're Maribel ones as well. Two lots of salad. Uh, salad leaves. We're trying to eat lots of salad with our, our meals as our main side. Tomatoes and some peppers. Two big uh, garlic bulbs. I was going to say cloves. Two big garlic bulbs. Some white onions and some red onions and some spring onions. And some romaine lettuce. I might do like a uh, Caesar salad as a side one day. Some rolls. My little boy wants burgers, so we're going to have burgers one day. And some crumpets for breakfast at the weekend. I think we might have a pyjama day one day this weekend. So we can't go anywhere. We're in lockdown, so we may as well make the most of it. Two lots of Bisto Best Onion gravy. This is my preferred gravy, and it seems to keep going out of stock everywhere. So if I see it, I buy two. And then I've always got one spare one in the cupboard. Some crispy onions to go on our salad. I love these. You don't see them very often in Asda anymore, but I really like them. And some uh, syrup, because we use uh, maple syrup instead of honey. And that's uh, running out. I'm running out of Marmite, so I've bought a huge big one today instead. And two loaves of bread. My husband told me he doesn't like the plain Asda wholemeal ones. So, um... I've bought some super seeded and some wholemeal and rye instead, and they were still only 80 pence each rather than a pound or one pound ten like the branded ones are. Uh, vegan mayo. I've been watching a girl called Alex Gladwin. I'll link her channel below if you haven't seen her. And she's vegetarian and she uses this mayonnaise and she said it doesn't taste hardly any different from regular mayonnaise i'm not that keen on mayonnaise because i don't like the taste of eggs so i'm going to give her a try and hopefully i like that one because i like mayonnaise but i, I prefer i like miracle whip that you get in the states and i don't think that has eggs in it so i'm hoping this one might be similar uh some salad dressings these would are they were on offer, I think these were on offer, like two for two pound or something. So we've got garlic and chive and a fat-free vinaigrette. Some vegetable stock mix instead of the normal brand, the like the Swiss vegetable organic brand I normally buy. I can't remember what it's called. Maybe gold mark or gold something. So I'd try that one for a change. Running out of olive oil. Uh, don't have I have just a dribble left, and the Filippo burial was on offer. Same with the balsamic vinegar. What running out of running out of everything. Uh Worcester sauce. This is the vegan Worcester sauce, so it doesn't have anchovies in it like the Lee and Perrin's one, and I prefer it. It's a little bit thicker. I tried it um when we were away and I really, really like it. It was a different brand, but this is my favourite one. Uh Sarsen's milk malt vinegar for chips, of course. Uh garlic granules, paprika turmeric and hot chili powder the spices i'm running out of mint sauce i love mint sauce on my sunday dinner or just dinner it's my favorite i mix it with a little bit of like a, a pinch of sugar and vinegar and water it down a little bit it's delicious i have some whole grain mustard for salad dressings and sandwiches baking powder light brown sugar Bacon flavour crumbles. These are vegan as well. These are delicious. Sorry, my children are playing some sort of crazy game in the living room. Uh, I love these on my salad. And we've got some pasta and sauces. We've got the cheese and broccoli and the mac and cheese and some bacon flavour super noodles. I like to have a few cup, a few things like this in just in case somebody gets poorly or we don't want to cook, etc. 
and we've got some plain flour always need plain flour for sauces and things some spirali pasta the children like this as cheesy pasta some of the bowls of farfalle i haven't had this for years and this is always what i used to have when i was young so i thought get that one we don't have very much pasta i've just got like the dregs of the bottom of the bags left in and some of these chopped tomatoes now the tarantella brand that i prefer they didn't have any so i thought i'd give these ones a try i don't even know where are they italian hmm doesn't look like it cambridge but anyway oh the tomatoes come from italy apparently they're produced for this company so maybe maybe they are packed in italy so i'll give those a try and see if they're they're good and some peel plum tomatoes of the same brand they were reduced it must be because they're a new brand so they're like 50 pence each or something and then lots of beans as as somebody who doesn't eat meat i eat lots of beans i've got four tins of chickpeas it was supposed to be two balotis but they've sent a mixed bean salad and said i don't like kidney beans uh, so I request a refund on that one. Unfortunately, you're unpacking the shopping so quickly you don't see it, but it doesn't happen very often at all. I think this is only the second time I've ever done a refund ever, and I've been getting Asda deliveries for about nine or ten months now. And three tins of black eye beans, three tins of black beans for chilli, two tins of reduced fat coconut milk, some uh, wholemeal penne, the Barilla brand that was new in the shop and I like the Barilla brand, pa Barilla brand pasta. There we go. Um, some sage onion stuff in a twin pack and that'll last me ages because I just use a little bit out of the packet each time we use it. And bagels. These were to freeze. I'd ordered, um, I think there's another pack somewhere but I don't know where I've put them. So they're supposed to be some cinnamon, not some cinnamon bagels. Oh, there is one, two, three, four. There was supposed to be two plain, two sesame. Yeah, two plain and two sesame. And I was going to freeze them and then we just take out a couple each time we need them. But they didn't have the New York Bagel Company brand, which is the ones I ordered. And they're a pack of five. So they sent two packs of four instead with three plain and one cinnamon raisin. I didn't want the cinnamon raisin one, but never mind, my husband will eat them. And I suppose I could just put some sesame seeds on if I wanted to really. And milk to substitute our milk for the week. Uh, mature cheddar and some of the grated 50% less fat. I had that from Aldi last week and really liked it. So uh, we're going to use, we use it on pasta and things. So that's nice and better for us. Some grated mozzarella. A large country life spreadable that's my favorite type of spreadable if it had the lighter version i would have had it because i keep getting their pack and i don't like their pack so back to country life light philadelphia this was this large one was cheaper than the smaller one and it wasn't on special offer don't know don't understand the shop sometimes dairy spread for sandwiches and things for the children and some country life butter for making sauces etc large free range eggs for breakfasts my husband likes this yogurt for his breakfast so we get this one and that was reduced as well i think it was only one pound 20 i might be wrong but i think for that big huge big i think it's a liter of yogurt it was one pound 20 so that's excellent um some gammon we're going to have a gammon on well my children and my husband are on sunday i'm going to do it in the slow cooker i'm doing one on christmas day as well and i wanted to do it now to have a practice before doing christmas day and could do it in the slow cooker then put it in the oven to crisp up hopefully i'll be able to do it overnight we'll see um sausages and bacon for breakfast and the children will have sausage and mash one day i bought these last week to try them instead of tortillas and they are not you can't have them instead of tortillas they're too thin really i mean you could but you couldn't bake them like you do a tortilla i don't think so i am um, they were reduced 
So I've got two packets and I'm going to put one away. Same with cracker crisps. I love these. I absolutely love them. I'm going to put one away because we'll have lots of like movie afternoons and things over Christmas. Some of these extra special spiced salted caramel cookies. They sound amazing. I'm going to hide them in the Christmas cupboard. I'm not going to get them out. See, how I could. I've been good so far. I haven't snuck anything out of the cupboard, so... See if I can keep it all in there. And hopefully we'll have, be able to have some family round if restrictions get lifted. Some salt and vinegar chickpeas as a snack instead of crisps. Two lots of frozen hash browns. They were two for two pounds or two for 250 or something. So I've got two and we'll have those with like longer breakfasts and things over the winter. It will not be going anywhere. Some chicken dippers, spinach, parsnips. Petit pois, I've got regular peas, but I like little peas sometimes. Two Asda garlic baguettes, some Yorkshire puddings and some sweet corns, all our frozen stuff to go away into the freezer. Uh, so make sure we've got lots of bits and bobs in case the obviously weather bad or food's unavailable or whatever. Um, some stuffing for the meat eaters on Christmas Day. I will do regular stuffing as well, but this is frozen, so I just need to pop it into the defrost it and pop it straight in the oven this comes like that from Asda I think that's great and then these I just spotted these and I thought these would be really useful if I'm I don't really want to cook but I I still like to cook proper food so I've got um garlic chili and ginger so I'm going to give those a try and see if, what those are like so we're going to get all stocked up and I think that was don't think that was too bad so that was uh Two hundred and seventeen pounds, and I think that's quite good. I mean, there's a lot of food there, and I've got my cleaning products as well. So I'll get this put away, and then I also have my little Tesco shop from this morning. I'll get that out and show you the few things I got from Tesco. Tesco did end up being quite a lot more expensive, <laughs> only because. I had a, I can justify everything. I've always got a way to justify it. I'm sure my husband hates it when I go to the supermarket. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I had a voucher. The club card sent me a voucher for £9 off a 45 spend. So we've got a few extra bits in our Tesco shop as well. Okay, be back in a second. And here is the extra Tesco shop to supplement the Asda delivery for the things that they didn't have. And I mean, I didn't need them this week. Some of them I did and some of them I didn't. But I'm going to try to go to the supermarket as little as I possibly can from now on. I did my main shop at Aldi last week and it was awful. So um, just fill the cupboards up, not leave the house and just use the local market and deli and things and butchers for our weekly shops. So this big bag of crisps was on club card special offer I think it was like £2.20 or something for the whole thing and we go through crisps like crazy in this house and uh, some space raiders beef and pickled onions some frazzles hula hoops my little boy's favourite colour is red so anything that's red he'll eat so <laughs> hula hoop, red hula hoops some salt and vinegar flavour of the proper chips they I'd never seen those before so I just picked them up some Tesco bunnies two packets of tortilla chips I, these were really nice when we had them with our um, nachos this week and um, I'm going to put them away just into the store cupboard because I always have to buy them specifically when we decide that we're going to have nachos or something and it's nice just to have them there. Some rigatoni, just fancy some rigatoni so I'll probably make something with that next week. Some treacle or fusilli, they didn't have this in Asda, it was out of stock. And two great big kilogram packets of spaghetti. These are proper Italian dried spaghetti. And they're only um, 36 pence or 39 pence each. They were on reduced to clear, but the date on them is two years. So I should have got more, but I don't have the room for them. So I've got two big ones and they're nice. They taste really good. I mean, they, what, these are, and they're really good. And this big kilogram is four separate meals for us because we normally buy a 500 one and I use it twice so that's really good and we've got um, children just stealing things from the kitchen um, 
some orzo. I fancied making some sort of creamy orzo dish. I don't know what. Um, I'll think of something. I just, I was wanting it and they're out of stock in Asda. Same with the pearl barley. They're out of stock. So I bought some pearl barley. Plum tomatoes. Um, just so I've got some extra in. And for the store cupboard, they were out of stock in Asda and they were £2. So it makes it only 50 pence a, a tin. Two lots of tomato puree. Again, out of stock. And again, cup of soups. They were out of stock with cup of soup. Every flavour of cup of soup at our Asda was out of stock. It was bizarre. But I think the problem is that my order has to be in by 10 o'clock that night. So like the amendment order. And then... They don't stock the shelves till after that. It will be the night shift. So I can't then pick from the newly stocked shelves. So there's a flaw there somewhere. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know what to do. But uh, yeah, so pick those up in Tesco's. I like them for lunch. Some mixed nuts for Christmas, as you do. I must get a nutcracker though, because I can't find my nutcracker. <laughs> Never mind. The elusive out of stock cucumber from Asda. And we've also got some nuts, which I forgot to order. We ran out of pine nuts, which we like with pasta or salad. And then hazelnuts, pecans and walnuts, which we have on porridge or with salads. And sometimes hazelnuts on ice cream. And uh, some clementines, some bananas, tinned carrots, which were also out of stock in Asda for some reason. No tinned carrots. Um, two lots of coconut milk. That's the thing that I bought again, but it doesn't matter. We use it in curries and things, so it's fine. Uh, cannellini beans and butter beans, out of stock in Asda. And same with the tomato passata. And the reason I spent so much is because I bought clothes in Tesco's. I got my little boy and my little girl each a pair of jeans and a long sleeve top each. One has Mickey Mouse, one has Peppa Pig. And then I bought them some Christmas jumpers. This one's for Eris and this one's for Isaac in case he has a Christmas jumper day at school. It's gorgeous. And also some family pyjamas. And it says, uh, this is, these are Isaacs. But uh, they're so cute. And they're all exactly the same. So we've all got Mickey pyjamas for Christmas. And there we go. There is our Tesco delivery. I'm sorry, not delivery, Tesco shop. 